Hey guys, this is for CC week eight of Tin Whistle, our second week of Tin Whistle. I really hope week seven went well for you in your class. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned some new things. So um, you could either start off with review of week one, maybe go over the parts of the Tin Whistle, or you could save that for the end of class, whatever works better for you. But at least start off with your expectations, again, telling them where to put their Tin Whistle, not to touch it or not to blow it, whatever the, whatever the rules were that you went over in week seven. And so we're going to jump right in. We are doing dynamics on week eight, and this is just such a fun week. The kids really enjoy doing the loud and the soft voices. So just start off explaining that dynamics are the way that we tell the volume of the music. We can look at a, a sheet of music and know what the volume should be. We can play a piece of music and know how loud or soft we should play. So our dynamic words are all Italian words, but there are some with some Latin root words. So um, that could be helpful and fun to talk about in class. So I'll just go ahead and start off on page 92 in our foundations guide. And we are, so uh, dynamics week eight, for the naming portion, um, they want you to go through and introduce each dynamic and then sing the cycle song in that respective dynamic. So um, if you're on cycle one, that's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, cycle two, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and cycle three, Yankee Doodle. So get out Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You can pass it around class if you want. Have everybody, if they need this. Most of us have that song memorized. Um, and so you'll start off with the first one, piano, which is named after the instrument, yes, because um, back then, I mean, the piano was pretty awesome. It could hit those really high notes, um, those low notes, and it could play loud and soft. So that's where the word comes from, piano. So piano is very soft. It's not very loud at all. So sing your cycle song as a class together. Set the tone for that. Just a very soft um singing and then forte um that is that italian word has the latin root word in it which means force so we want this to be forceful we want it to be loud forte is loud and then um pianissimo so the more of those italian bold p's um, italic bold p's we put on there uh the softer and softer it gets the same with the little bold italic f's for forte the more we add on, the louder it gets. So for pianissimo, it's like a soft whisper. So sing your cycle song in like a soft whisper. And then we want to go to fortissimo, which means um, like extremely loud. So they can like yell it, sing it. You know, that's always fun. And then we want to go to more of the medium ones, moderate. You could think medium, moderate, mild. That'll help you remember it. So mezzo piano. Pretty soft, but not as soft as piano. Went like a little step above that. And then um, mezzo forte. So that one is pretty loud, but not as loud as forte. We're a little step below that. So um, go ahead and, and just have fun with that. Sing your cycle song together in all of those. The kids really, really like doing that. And then we will turn the page to 93. So we're on the expressing part. So now they can pick up their tin whistle, go over how to hold it again, have them sit up straight. They don't want their elbows on the table playing it like this. Have them sit up straight, elbows off the table, where our left hand's on top, our right hand's on the bottom. And you can practice um, depending upon the age and the skill of your class uh, with what you want to play. So you could go through the scale or maybe you can, maybe your class is four and it's just taking too long and you can only get through one note. But practice the piano and the forte. The tin whistle is very difficult to hit those different dynamics. It's not really an instrument that was built for that because as you've probably witnessed and, and with your kids around the house or even yourself, if you blow too forcefully, it's just like a shrill squeaky sound. So that's why Cece wanted you to sing the cycle song with all the dynamics, because we can't really hit all of those on the tin whistle. But you can try to um, do that with your class. You know, have them cover all six holes and say, okay, we're gonna play D uh, piano. So we'll play it kind of softly. Then maybe we do it in forte and we're playing a little louder. So obviously we can't get carried away with that, but um, it's fun, it's fun to, to try and to do. And then the last thing, um, attending, so you could go a bunch of different ways with this. So I would, I think I'm just going to, you know, have it on my board as I'm, as I'm discussing these, I'm going to put them in the right order. So pianissimo will be at the very bottom, and then piano, then mezzo piano, 
mezzo forte, forte, and then fortissimo at the top. So I might go through and point to it and we name it, we say it together, pianissimo, and then I'll sing it. You know, I can demonstrate that. Or I could um, like point to it and we all do it. So whichever one I point to, we have to sing the cycle song like that. Or maybe I could sing it in a volume without pointing and they have to guess which one it is. So that would be like a really fun way to explore that, play with that, get to know those dynamics a little bit better. And then at the very end, I'm going to have mine. I have four-year-olds and we love adding to their art book. So... You can get really creative with this if you want, like you could have them draw and color it, or I might have them draw their tin whistle on one side, and then we arrange the um, dynamics from softest to loudest on the other side. Just fun things like that, just to get them drawing the, the P's and the F's and the MP's and all of that. So it's uh, very easy this week, guys, and really, really fun. I hope you guys enjoy um, doing the different volumes with the cycle song. If you have any questions, let me know.